Folks, it is that time again. It's my weekend off, Saturday and Sunday. Today is Saturday. Today we have a very cloudy day with a constant 20% chance of rain and very bad wind gust. Pretty much constant 15 to 20 mile an hour winds and then you have at times about 25 to 30 mile an hour wind gusts. So today my main concern is some big crappie but I had to stop here on my way because I wanted to try to get some more of them big spotted bass. And I'm just going to see what we get. They were biting like crazy last week. I just kind of want to throw a little variety in there. Now if I do catch some big crappie out of here, I probably will just come back to this place because I'm getting ready to go experiment. I'm going to be trying a borrow pit slash salute. A borrow pit is where they dig dirt out of a certain area. They dug the dirt out of here back in 1952 to make a levee but it's also about 100 yards away from the main river which floods periodically usually one or more times per year and the fish get stuck in it it's it varies from two to three foot deep all the way up to 12 foot deep and it's a half mile long it has a lot of timber and it periodically like i said gets flooded so it gets new fish added into it all the time so it looks promising i have caught fish out of it i just haven't gave it enough chances yet but i do know they're in there it's basically the same fish that are in the church lake that i used to always fish so it does have some hope we're going to go try that after this in the canoe with the trolling motor and see what we can get out of there and I got one, my first fish. There we go. It's feeling like a spotted bass, yep. Not a very big one though. But hey, they are biting maybe. Could just be in the wrong hole. All right, about a 10 inch. First fish of the day, it took about five minutes. She just caught her first fish when we, I was on my way back to the car. She was upstream from me and uh, she caught one right at the end, right when we was leaving to go eat. They definitely ain't as hungry as they were last week. It's the moon cycle. It'll be really good next weekend. All right, folks, we are at the second destination now. This is what I was talking about earlier is what is called the borrow pit. Approximately a half mile to three quarters of a mile in length. And basically they dug this out in 1952 to make the levee, which you can barely see over to my right. And it runs along the same distance or maybe even a mile or more. Uh, so it's also a slough because the main river is right behind me where you see that tree line. You can't quite see the water because I'm a little bit above it. But this periodically floods all the way across here during high rain. At least, I'd say at least once a year, but sometimes multiple times a year. So the fish from the river gotten here, they've been in here for 50 years or more. Um, basically, it varies from six inches deep all the way up to 12 feet. Uh, that's just according to my anchor. I'm just guessing at it. It's at least 10 to 12 feet deep in a certain area. Um, it's got black and white crappie, large mouth, bow fin, bluegill, war mouth, red ears, and probably channel cats, maybe a few gar and carp. That's basically the main species though. So, uh, I'm actually going after, today I'm going after black and white crappie of course, because it is nearing the end of March, crappie season. 
So now, in case you guys didn't know, that's what a borrow pit is, where they borrow the dirt to move it somewhere else. And they just fill in with water. Anywhere you got levee systems, especially on the lower Mississippi River, south of St. Louis, you'll run in occasionally to what's called borrow pits. That's what this is, but it's also a slough because it does get periodically flooded, like I mentioned. All right, she's parking the vehicle over there. I had to make five trips. As you can see, I had to drag the canoe 100 yards by itself. And I had to carry the trolling motor, and then I had to carry the battery, the anchor and rope, then the paddles, six poles, uh, the black tub with all the tackle boxes in it. And now I got, still got the backpack and one more paddle and her life jacket. So it's very, I'm already exhausted. So I'm really ready to get out on the water and give this place a try. I only tried this place once before, the December before last. I caught five crappie that were all hand sized by five or six inches, and that was it. But it was December, it was 31 degrees. So I did go over there, and there's got to be bigger ones. Another thing I had to carry that I forgot to mention the minnow. Literally, this is my fifth trip. So I got minnows, I got every kind of lure possible. So it should be no reason we ain't catching them. The only thing we got against our side today is about 25 mile an hour wind gusts. Uh, there was a constant wind of 10 15 mile an hour, and then once in a while it gust on us. It's very windy today. Um, it was really overcast, but the sun just came out about half an hour ago, so it warmed up about 8 degrees. Alright, I'll turn back on once we get out and start catching some fish. Fish at the borrow pit. She's got a nice large mouth. Oh, and it got off right at the edge. She's using a jointed crawfish rapala lure crankbait. We were getting very skeptical of this place. We haven't been able to get really anything except snags lots of sticks in here I had a little tiny one on and she finally hooked into one and it was a half decent one he was over a pound but we've had a really bad hour uh, the wind hasn't been on our side where we almost are forced to anchor when we find a good spot and then the wind will quit and we just don't uh, there was a really good looking tree where I thought crappie would be for sure and we didn't get nothing there um, it seems to either be real deep or real shallow we just can't find where the fish are at yet we're just kind of looking around fishing the whole thing this end here seems to be almost too shallow though it would probably have some pickerel uh, it just seems a little bit too shallow we need to find some water it's about four to six foot this seems to only be about two so it's two too shallow we're gonna move a little bit and see well, it gives us a little hope though that she at least she had a, one hooked all right folks I finally got my first fish it's nothing to brag about it's a little seven inch bass got him on the crankbait and she had one that fell off a little bit ago hers was actually a foot or 13 First fish of the day. So far, the poor hoppy are not cooperating in this place, or we just can't find them. I'll take it again because it's not raining. Anymore. All right, folks. It is six at night. We have went three hours without a fish, and she just caught her first crappie of the day. It's not bad. It's probably eight or nine inches on a cork and minnow. Finally. I was just about to say the hell with it and let's leave and she caught a decent crappie. She was patient and used the bobber and minnow right here in front of us in front of the canoe. I knew they were in here. Now we know they're in here. They just haven't been biting.
Here, hold it up real good and straight. Hold on, I'm gonna take my camera off and zoom. That's a, finally got a good crappie, Wilma, good job. Okay, just hold that pose. There we go. A one day, a one crappie day, folks. Maybe we can get another one. Maybe they're just starting to bite right before dark. And it was in no particular spot of cover or anything, just kind of out in the open. All right, you want to put it back, I guess? Huh. You beat me. 